Mais à la fin, il y a un autre. Je vais Loose chairs are horrible. Yes. They are making huge noises. Oh, yeah. Shall we start now? So in the next 40 minutes, so you can ask anything you want. I think so. I have questions. Oh, hmm? I don't know if I have questions. Uh, if you would like to speak, you can use this microphone. Ah, uh, OK. Yeah. So, but I, I was saying that I don't think I have questions. Ah, ah <laughs> good, good. Or oh, anything you want to, to communicate? So why do you come here? For example, the speaker asking you, why do you come here? Um, yeah, I associate this with uh, meditation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, I thought it was a meditation session mixed with, uh, with a talk. Yes. Um, and at the moment, well, no, for a long time, I've been trying to get into meditation, and I've been doing it yes, good. by myself. Um, but then I thought it would be a good thing doing it in a group, uh, guided. Yeah, that's it. Uh, how about you? Uh, 
if you speak to it, it uh, will be recorded in the camera. Would you like that or? Ooh, it's Jesus. Okay. Just you can hold it. I can yeah. hold it. Or do you mind? Or would you like to be recorded? I don't know. Put aside, Joyce. You can. Okay. Yeah. Just do, my, my yeah. speak what you want, please. Yeah. Yeah. Forget, forget that. Mute. Forget that. I'll mute it. <laughs> yeah. It's very similar to, uh, I consume a lot of Sam Harris content, um, he's a podcaster, sci neuroscientist, slash um, philosopher, slash, 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 and, uh, and he talks a lot about um, consciousness, and um, he has this app uh, for practicing guided meditation talk a lot about Vipassana and um, so it's more like um, Tibetan Buddhism oriented yeah I see um, but then I can see a clear parallel of the, the, the core ideas yeah. um, and I think those are very um, helpful okay. in general uh, ideas that, uh, that I I wish I could incorporate my life more often or always um, but it is a path um, that is challenging to, to, to stay with it uh, and not get so often distracted by clinging to this idea yes, okay. trying to be right trying to yeah. this constant struggle yeah. within myself I feel really pointless and No, yeah. It's just a waste. Yes. So, you know, uh, the the real challenge, actually, the the biggest challenge, is to stay silent. So when one is really respond to that, then any other challenge won't be an issue. But most people don't respond to this biggest challenge as to kind of be silent. Then one has various issues and problems. And one is inundated with all of them. But all those issues are created out of nothing. When the mind is silent, there's nothing. But when the mind is not, there's always something to fight against or to hold on to, you see, to this constant struggle. And uh, it, is, it seems to the speaker that most people fail to see the importance of being silent inwardly. They are always leading with the issues which they, which they regard as an issue. But they don't really find out the true issue to all those, you know, you know, endless secondary issues. Indeed, we are all, I mean, as human beings, are trapped in by the secondary issues. Without dealing with the fundamental ones, the, uh, the secondary issues become tremendously important. And the mind is busy with that. That's why you see, most people's life is based on these superficialities and they're trapped in the superficialities. They, go to, they, they don't go or penetrate the superficialities. The 
the fundamental issues like the root, take out the root, all the issues will, will be gone. But most people are dealing with the leaves. There are num num numerous leaves. So that's why the whole life is wasted. in dealing with the endless issues. It has become very important for anyone earnest and serious to respond to the fundamental issues instantly. That's to end this psychological struggle completely. Right. So that's the, so that's one of the issues we are all facing. Why? Uh, those secondary issues feel so true, right? What, uh, what is taking place in the mind? When the secondary issues become so true to life, Is that the same process that human beings are worshipping are worshipping thoughts? And when we are holding onto something, which it must be thoughts, right? And uh, that something becomes so true. It becomes uh, stagnant. And the, the mind is trapped in stagnancy. An illusion of permanency. The result of grasping, holding. But the mind is always in a changing state. It's like a flowing water all the time. When there's something fixed inside the flowing water, there must be conflict or resistance. Grasping something is against the flowing water. When the mind grasps something, it feels something secure at that time, which is an illusion of the thought processes. But the flowing water, which is the whole dynamics of the neuron cells, will have conflict with the thing that one is holding on to. Therefore, more issues pop up. Unless one willingly let go of everything. You know, this holding on something and uh, have to let go of something is this, or oh, embodies this constant struggle. Grasp, let go, grasp, let go.
can the mind merely observe without grasping anything? Just observe. Observe patiently. Observe without any direction. Observe without seeking anything. In, in that observation, the mind perceives the dynamics of the mind itself, actually, and stay with it. Can we do that? It demands silence, and I mean the inner silence. When the mind is very busy, as most people are in this world, the mind is trapped in numerous, numerous reactions. In the, in the chain of the reactions, the mind cannot observe. So that's why it is very necessary for the mind to be free from all reactions. In the chain of the reactions, the mind is always grasping. So one must deal with various reactions by observing them completely. When one is observing the reaction completely, means that it perceives what is taking place when there's reaction. Then everything is dissolved. When there's no reaction, the mind grasps nothing. It's the same process. So can one ob observe and in that complete observation, all the reactions are dissolved. Where there is reaction, the mind is not silent. How do you stay silent when you observe people? Because I, my mind can stay silent when I'm observing, but when I have to talk, it's just not. So we first need to be aware or to examine what 
is taking place when we are talking to somebody or talking with somebody. When we are talking with somebody, what are taking place there? The mind is immediately trapped in verse, isn't it? So when one is talking with somebody else, the mind is immediately trapped in verse, isn't it? Because most people uh, are speaking so fast with so many subtle expressions. Perhaps we have the wrong way of speaking. When the mind depends on verse, the speaking becomes automatic, very fast-paced, with a lot of content. In that way of speaking, the mind is already trapped in reactions, in the reaction to verse. Now, how can we, how can we observe? Right. So we, we just observe now. It seems that most people on this planet cannot speak properly. They are speaking out of numerous uh, accumulated reactions. It's a lot of a subtle content. We think that's normal. Perhaps it's not, it's abnormal. Most people become like that. When one is speaking, can one observe oneself? When one is doing that, perhaps speaking becomes something different. Pay attention to each word we use. That demands a mind that is silent, that is free of reactions. Then it can speak properly using the right verse expressions to achieve the necessary communication. No chatting, chatting all the time, you know. Most people are chatting for nothing. They, 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 are, they just rely on verse for you know, some kind of stimulation. In Tagaji, uh, there is uh, sometimes I speak Chinese if you say what I mean, <laughs> you will translate because my English is not that fluent. So, uh, one principle is to stay quiet, silent to the utmost. That's one principle. Yes. But there is another one. Mm -hmm. I think that responds to the question. Uh, the first is. Uh, Non-being and being. So it's not that one keeps silent always, but when you speak, when you use thoughts, like today's session, we use thoughts to to observe reaction, to eliminate reactions in the mind, to have to facilitate the mind to. Come upon the true silence. So, could you, how do you say? 
常有欲以观其将，常无欲以观其量。Understand, but I think it's too much for. <laughs> oh, that's a very key principle to respond to that question. Okay, so I will respond in this way.、Mm. Mm. Silence is a quality of the mind. It's not something you can imagine. Silence I means it's it's a quality. Of the mind, it does. It does not mean that it speaks nothing. But rather, the mind is very clear, very decisive. The mind is not chattering. It can speak properly. It can act properly. But still, the mind is silent. It's not. It's not restless. And we can see the mind is restful. If 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 we we can use that word in that way, the mind is not restless. It's restful. It is silent, but it is full of energy. But you can't imagine it, because with the very imagination, may bring about misunderstanding. When the mind is really silent, when the mind、uh, is able to speak properly, it may find that it is rather challenging to talk to various people. Because their mind is so fast, because full of reactions, turning out content in in, in less no time. So it can immediately drag drag myself into their reactions. I see that oh, it's very tricky and dangerous. I, I must be very cautious. If you any miss something, or、oh, please, please tell me, or ask me. Okay. It's mean that can the mind observe when it behaves, observe what it speaks, what it thinks. That observation, which is perceptive, which is perceiving, bring about the order, the order of the mind. Functionally, as a as a person in society, I speak in my work. I speak to people. Like in a supermarket, for example. But subtly, can the mind be free of any words? When the mind is holding onto some idea or theory, it is holding on some words, isn't it? But can the mind be free of words psychologically? Well, you can still speak. When you when you work when you do other things, yes. Do it, please, to find out what will happen. To speak when you when you have to speak. But when you when you really alone when you really. Stay silent, inwardly. There are no words. Because when the mind is chattering, 
Is that because the mind is trapped in verse, in the reaction to the verse? That's why when the mind, when mind is alone, the mind is still chattering, which is the dissipation of energy for nothing. Only bring both more problems, fear, anxiety, and issues. Can the mind psychologically be free of all those things? There's only feeling, the feel the sensation. Oh, hear, listen, smell. That's the whole activities of the new one cells. They are not averse. They are there. Again, back to today's session, we, we have explored words are never the thing. It is the same principle. When, when people, when the mind is holding on some verse, psycholog psychologically, it creates something. The verse, it feels it, it, it exists. The verse exists, but the verse are not the, are not, not the actual thing. So that's why when the mind is trapped in by verse. It, it gets trapped in the world created by verse. Right. That's it. Come in, in that, in that process completely. By giving full attention to everything. When the mind is talking to, to itself, I mean through the verse, it makes efforts. Though it becomes rather automatic, but actually it is making efforts. The efforts become automatic, right? But when the mind is really perceive, feel, observe, there are no efforts. So can the mind end that effort's chin? That's to observe. Just do nothing. Just observe. The neuron cells have their intelligence to dissolve all those things. We don't need to do anything else. What we, which, what we just do it nothing. Just do nothing. But when the mind is trapped in reaction, the reaction always push the mind to do something. Right? So can the mind just observe, behold, and see what will happen? It demands tremendous patience. When the mind is in reaction, it is not patient. Silence is patience. Right. 
So can that patience take place? That demands tremendous observation. See various illusions, various traps of patterns of thinking. The way is really doing that, and upon and living, and upon and acting upon this inner silence. The whole life is meditation. In that silence, there's clarity. Clarity about everything. Otherwise, the mind is always confused. If, especially in a society which is merely based on thoughts, there's endless confusion. Thoughts can never bring clarity, never. As we said today in the session, thoughts only bring about division, contradiction, conflict. when the mind is holding onto it. And also thoughts are carried by verse. So can we live a life where thoughts, language, language, I mean the verse, can stay in the right place? In our work, in our life in society, they have a place, obviously, but here, psychologically, there are no place for them. But you see, most people tend to fill a mind with various things for a sense of fulfillment. And the consequence of that is troubles, sufferings. So can we live a life in society, in a world, without feeding the mind? It might be challenging, but it is rather necessary and urgent to, res to respond to that. As we said earlier, that's the biggest challenge, to keep the mind empty. But when one can do that, any other challenge wouldn't be an issue, because that's the biggest challenge, right, of all time.
I think that's enough for today's session. We can next week to have to look at more issues and earth factor we're living. Mm. Yeah. I really feel, so actually, I can feel there is vast, vast wisdom in Tao Te But it's, it's really challenging sometimes to convey. <laughs> so I think it's, it's really important um, for us to explore together, to take time to meditate, to ponder. Yes, ponder. savor the truth in it. It's just that this, uh, we can't convey anything to anybody. But the, 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 by, by this deeper conversation, yeah. everybody can compound it. Yeah. And because the, that's the insight we must compound yeah. to let the mind change, be changed. Hope we could meet uh, next week if you have time to come. But it, it really takes patience to touch upon this. Yeah. Hopefully by the next seven weeks, um, uh, various topics and earth of living can be examined. And I hope that mind, that by, by doing that, the mind can, can compound this totality and uh, apply the wisdom to earth living. Yeah. Take care. <laughs> Take care. Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> Could the donations be done online? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.